Greetings and welcome back to Mega Aquarium. I'm Catherine of Sky, and our people are very much enjoying themselves and we are researching more ways for them to do so. So let's see, I think we got a new, did we get a new vending machine thing? Yeah, uh, no, apparently not. I thought we got the book thing. No, maybe we didn't. Maybe we, ah, uh, there it is. Yep, we didn't get it yet, but it's coming. It's coming. It'll be here soon. Hooray. <clears throat> So let's see, the entrance price is still, is around 82. We can't actually edit this number, which is kind of interesting uh, or not interesting. Let's see, can I, if I toggle it closed? No, I can't, no, it's okay. No worries. But I was having a thought about this area over here. I would actually love to do something different with this once we get the second level pumps. Maybe we have a small little alcove here where we have the machines and then have tanks on either side, kind of to fill out that area a little bit better. Um, I'm wondering if we should just move this entire bench creation over here uh, so that I can put aquariums along this entire sidewall instead. So I think I'm going to do that. Let's move these benches. Uh, let's see, we'll just make a new creation. Uh, whoops, I think it's M to move. There we go. Yep. Oh, hello. Thank you. Okay, good, good. There we go. We just can click them in and out as we like. Okay, there we are. Okay, that doesn't work. No, need this. Nope, go away. There we go. Okay, so this is what we currently have. I think I can press Q and just, or I think I can press Q. There we go. Yes, and no, that didn't work. Escape. Q? No. Wait, there is a way to change this, I think. Let's see, key assignments. Stand, fill in, wall, platform, stairs, tool. No, 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 no. I could have sworn there was a Q tool. There it is. Copy currently highlighted object. Oh, you have to highlight it, maybe. Q. Oh, that's not the right one. Q. Copy. Q. Q. Can I Q at this? It's not doing anything. <laughs> it's not doing anything. Why does it not do anything? Help. Oy. All right. It's okay though. We're gonna, we're just gonna expand it the normal way. That's easier than fooling with it all this long time. All right. So let's get these going. Oh, they have orange. I didn't even notice that. How did I not see that? Whoa. That's important, man. Orange is good. All right, let's do that. That looks quite nice, actually. I wonder what that orange... Oh, gosh, that's the wave thing. You know what? We're going orange. We are gonna go orange. That is Greek paint, too. And that makes me a happy girl. Oh, excuse me. Come on. Just any fish is fine. Just give us fish. All the fish. All the time. Let's go. Oh, orange. I love orange so much. Okay, there we are. Hooray, we have an orange thingy majingy. And that means we can also get uh, that gift thing over here, maybe. We have many hermit crab toys for sale. Let's look at our money and see if we're making money with this toy thing. So gift shop is earning a little bit of money, not a whole bunch, but food is definitely earning stuff. So, you know, it's like a third of our whole, um, or a quarter, I guess, of our entrance sales. So it's pretty important to have these things. And, and also keep them sort of regular. I do wish that when you clicked it, it would show the AOE or like if there was a way to see the whole AOE of what was covered and what wasn't. Cause like you can have one drink machine, but it doesn't show you the other AOEs of the other drink machines. So that's not very helpful, I think. Anyway, we can actually, oh we, wait, this place had many fish. So we were gonna make a a poster board thing for it the ecology poster that gives us ecology points 
I think I'd rather have the science poster. I think we'll wait for that instead and put that there. Okay, so what is this? This object needs to be cleaned. Oh, discarded chocolate. I was like, is that somebody's pair of cutoff shorts or something? <laughs> Sorry, that was like, okay, what the heck is that? Oh boy, oh boy. But I do see an opportunity for a bench here, which I kind of like. Let's make a, thank you very much. Let's make a bench here. And another one. Hello? Oh wait, the reason I painted those the other color was because I needed like stuff from them. Yeah, I forgot about that, whoops. Okay, we have rope dividers, fence dividers, things, slatted roof. I still don't know why we need roofs. Are we in danger of stuff falling from the sky? Like, I don't know, debris or something? I don't get that. I, I really don't understand the roof thing. Um, all right, let's make that metal again. Let's put those to be rivets, rivets. All right, I'll make these all rivets and then, oh God, I don't wanna do that. No, 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 no. Hold on, get back our Greek paint. We love it. Let's go, okay. There we are. So we actually did not paint these walls in the new Greek paint. So let's do that. I think I want to make it a little bit consistent. It doesn't have to be consistent, but I don't know. I like the blue. It's very nice. It's very calming looking. All right, we got the bridge tank. Now I do want to get the science poster. Let's do that because that's going to help us get other stuff as well. Okay, tanks, 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 being painted. All right, and we're good, we're good to go. All throughout. Now, these walls, I guess, don't matter, but I'm gonna be kind of neaten it up just so it doesn't drive me nuts. So there we go. I mean, I guess it wouldn't drive me nuts. I'm not that kind of, but I think it would drive some people nuts. So I'm just gonna fix it for, for anyone who it bothers. All right, so that means though, that we can put another fish tank in here. I think I'm going to move this box preemptively over here. And now we need to get a tank over here. So what do we want here? Maybe a corner tank or like a big corner tank, a deep corner. I like to have these deep corner ones. They're so nice. Like it would fit right there, actually perfectly right there. Okay, but we need to remove the wall. So I'm going to pause and I'm going to move these stairs as well to do this and then X this and X these three walls and then put in a corner tank, deep corner tank. There we go. Yeah, that's good. Like that. Perfect. Looking very, very nice. Uh, and of course we need to extend this a little bit, but that means we still have a space here to put something there. Like we could put these hermit crab toys over there if we wanted to. Uh, we do need to figure out the, um, you know, the heat and stuff for that tank, but yeah, we'll get there in a second. So what do we need to do for getting some of these quests completed? Atlantic Pollock, four of them. How much space do they need? How much space is in this tank? Let's see. Let's look at our Atlantic Pollock. Uh, all right. They don't seem to be here. Oh, here they are. Oh, wow. We don't have any cold water fish at all. So let's see. They eat sand eels. They may eat animals with size one to three. I wonder if, I guess this is not, uh, it's not in danger of starfish, right? I think because they're very specific when they say, oh, it eats these things. So let's see, Atlantic Paul 9 to 16, and this tank is at 36. Okay, that's way too small for that. But we can do these. Shoulder either in single or six plus. I would love to have many of these, so I'm going to save that one, I think. These guys are, let's see, 5 to 10, meaning we could have three in here. And they, they eat crustaceans. One, two, three. And I want to put a starfish in there. Put a starfish there as well. Okay. So 
we need to have a chill factor here, which means less heat. So what I'm going to do, I think what I'll do is make a large filter because it's much bigger power than the power combi. Uh, and see if that's enough. I'm hoping it is. Yeah, it's 74. All right, and then we need 36 heat. So let's find a heat that gives us 36. Here it is. I don't know if we need a bigger one. Let's see. Oh, no, wait, that's... Hello? Do we need a chiller? Do we need a separate item for this? Basic chiller right there. Okay, cool. I didn't know that was a thing. All right. So let's see. Uh, let's make a... Well, we need a cave of size 6. So this is a cave of 11. That'll do. Looks nice, too. Oh, we have one somewhere near over there. It's fine, though. All right, and then they don't need anything else, so we can put in whatever we want, basically. I do like to have some, like, grass and stuff. Like eel grass. Feather Calurpa. Wait, we had a thing for that, right? 138 each. But we had a Feather Calurpa. 200 for two of them. Sure, I'll buy these from you. I think this is what I did on the other one. But the uh, other fish didn't like it very much. Okay, let's put in something in the very front here. Some kind of like... Oh, here's our vase! Oh my god, that's so cool. Wow. Prestige generate prestige chance. Okay, they have a chance to enjoy it again. That's cool. But we don't have enough space. That's a 2 by 2 So let's just do the shell. Let's do the shell. All right. Okay, let's go. Oh, and we need brown food. Let's figure out what that is. Apparently we don't have brown food yet. These are cockles. All right, let's go. All right, very nice. And that, that kind of like makes this area a little bit better instead of having that wall there. Now we have a fish tank there. So yay, it's exciting. Wait, no, we need the Atlantic Pollock, need a huge tank though. Uh, let's see, prestige from rivet painted objects. Yeah, that's a pain in the socks, really. Let's see, these, oh no. Oh, we don't have, oh, caves. Ah, because we have the spawn. Right, so spawn needs different stuff as well. So they want caves in order to survive. So let's get a cave in here so that our, our spawning stuff can survive. Let's put in, they need three. So we'll put in a driftwood cave over here. That should make them a bit happier. There we go. Okay, hooray, we are breeding fish. Hooray. All right, we need people to clean stuff, looks like it. Um, let's put in another, like a broom here. There we go. And it's occurred to me that maybe we need to start expanding to the sides a bit because I want to make this more than one just like one long aquarium. I feel like that would be more fun, more interesting, more all the things basically. Let's open this up here. Okay, very good. Okay, I've unlocked the tinfoil barb. All right, next research. Let's go. And we'll go ahead and buy this whole column as well. And I'll just put in a wall here to prevent any misunderstandings. All right, let's go ahead and also paint this area. Greek paint one. There we go. Oh, I still missed. Jeez. Okay. Never mind. Let's see. I'll put in a wall here. And then we'll figure this whole thing out. Anyway, I want to make... Let's see. We have enough for that giant tank, though. Let's do that. I want to make a bridge tank that's massive. Like, this might be, like, for our Atlantic Pollock. That would fit right there. That's the biggest you can make it, I think. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Dang it, thing. Making me be messy. Greek paint. Let's go. 
Okay, so this is what a bridge tank looks like. It is massive, as you see. So, let's see, this is 275, which is huge. God, that's big. What I might do, though, is I might actually move this thing to, to here, so they can't pass through. They actually have to go over this section here. That would be kind of cool. So let's pause and see what we can do here. We, we want some Atlantic Pollock, I think, in this tank. So let's do that. So we can have 16. Definitely can have four. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, and four. And that's going to be, let's see, 16 times four is let's see, 32 times two, which is 64. Okay, so that is less than the maximum. <laughs> so we have 200 and... Uh, 12 left. 212 left. So let's go ahead and put in some sea needles. I love these things. Let's do six plus of these. We can make many of them in here. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Oh, I don't have money. Oh no, I have no money. Oh dear. Okay, so let me X one of these guys. And because we need, really need to make sure that this has uh, stuff. As in like cooling and heating and whatever else needs to be in there. So I need to... What do I need to do? I need to add this here and add a wall. I have to sell those sea creatures. No. Uh, let's see. X this and paint this so you can just see things properly. Alright. And I want to do a pump here. All right, we need the basic pump. Here is good. Okay, there we go. So we need cooling of 275. I don't know if this is possible with a single pump. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think it is. I don't actually think it is. I think we need to just put them on the side here. Maybe we close this area off. Or something. Not enough money now. No! My fish are gonna die! Uh, huh? Well, alternatively, we could actually just sell the fish. I think we might need to. Let's see. X, U. And then... We still need some stuff. We need water quality stuff as well. Let's see. We have the large filter. Is that enough? Okay, that's almost enough. Let's sell another fish. <laughs> By the time we're done, we're not even going to have any fish left to take care of. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. No. Um, okay, and chiller. We need a, still more chilling. That's 240. Dang it, we need another one. We need another. Okay, so that's, that's going to take care of them. There's two fish in that huge aquarium. <laughs> uh, so here, I'm wondering, maybe I should close this off like that. So they can't see those chillers or whatever. I don't know how important that is to people. I think they do go like a rep down thing if you, uh, if you show them the behind the scenes things. Which I think is kind of strange. Oh wait, they are still unhappy about this, I think. Oh, this needs to be sponged, apparently. Wait, what, are, what were they unhappy about? Tank looks a bit bare, lifeless. Okay, they do like the bridge, but too bare. Okay. I didn't know if they were like complaining about these. Okay, good, good. Let's see, X these walls. We'll earn back some money by selling walls. Woo! Okay. Um, yeah, we need bigger chillers for sure, and we need the bigger pump as well, because this is like not great. But it is a heck of a big tank, so I guess that's the important part. I think if we... What we need to have is a sponge nearby, which apparently we don't have. So let me put one out here. Let's see. Sponge, sink. Oh, we have the backpack dispenser. Oh my god, that's exciting. Oh, that's great. Oh my god, that's exciting. Okay, so let's get the backpack dispenser going on. 
We need a million of them. Let's see. This is such a strange thing. I don't like the way this functions very much. I feel like they should have one cabinet that holds 25 backpacks. You can shove a heck of a lot of backpacks into a cabinet. I think this is very silly, personally. It's very weird. All right, now we can. what we can do here is we need to assign each person. So the one person we don't need, I think we don't need William because he's only gift shop. Um, so anyway, we can assign everybody else, though, an accessory that we have access to. Wait, go away. And by the way, it doesn't replace the window. So like if I click this person, this one is still there. So that, I don't like that. Let's see, you have to like manually click them off. I kind of wish that you could press, uh, is it backspace? No, backspace doesn't work. Also escape doesn't work either. It just comes to the main menu. Uh, it used to be like in uh, Railroad Tycoon, no, no, it was um, Transport Tycoon Deluxe, TTD. You press uh, backspace to get rid of the last window, and I like that idea. He's nice. Okay, so tank this one. Let's get our fish back. Okay. Okay, next fish. Sure. One, two. All right. And then we need the needle. Okay, we'll, we can only put two for now. Wow, we need more of these thingies, though. Because there's too many fish. All right, let's move this thing out here. Don't know how much that's going to affect anything, but we'll see. You know what we could do? Let's try and put some rocks on the bottom. Some of these, like, high-value filter rocks. There's, like... These are ten. Thank you. Science poster. Okay, guidebook shelf is good. Uh, let's see. These are ten. Ten filter. Okay, let's put some in there. See, it shows, but it doesn't change this thing. What the heck? Ugh. Alright, these fish want to have more fish. Let's see. I just can't fit any more fish. I can't fit any in my budget. Alright, we'll figure it out. We'll get it. We just need more money. People give me money. Did I get that bookshelf yet? Hold on. I forgot if I did or not. I'm so bad at like remembering what stuff that happened just then. <laughs> oh no, I got the science poster. Ah, that's right. Okay, this is cool. I was going to put this in front of this one. Uh, but we need 800 for that. And it generates millions of science. Let's go. People are still unhappy with this. Not enough money. Hello? It says 800. Do you have to choose it after? Oh, where I got it from. No. There we go. Oh, I had 800. Hello. There we go. There we go. Generating science like crazy. Hooray. Good, good. So, let's see. We need to get more fish in this tank, though. Because those, those ones are very unhappy. Okay, sure. Okay, what's going on with these sea needles? <gasps> no, it hasn't had food! Oh no! Uh, we need herring. Oh dear. Okay. So it looks like we do need to have some kind of... Uh... What if I can attach another pump to this tank? Oh, I have minus, minus uh, money. That's not good. I need to get food though. We need food! Uh, herring. 
Oh, oh, 300 for a herring dispenser. I'm clicking it. Click, click, help. There we go. Okay, food. One food. We also have, we need sand eels as well. I don't think I have those either. All right, let's go and pick those up. Completely forgot about the food. God, I would be a terrible fish parent. Jeez. Or fish, fish feeder, fish keeper. Fish keeper. I wonder if you can attach another pump to a thing. All right, that's cool. Row machine, what is this? Makes the water more acid. Oh, that's right. I never use those. I use the natural version. The Chrysal tank has a circular current which stops the animal inside from bouncing off the sides. That's very nice. I think that's probably must be like a, uh, a specialty like thing that some fish might need. So let's go ahead and start that. Feels like our science poster is working, like working overtime. It's pretty cool. Okay, let's see if I can get another pump to work in here. Can I do that? Oh, yes, you can. Seems like it. All right, so let's move this thing. Uh, we're going to move this here. I may have to move this whole setup, actually. French angelfish, okay. Let me just make this more accessible. Okay. I think I'm going to put a wall right here. <laughs> and just organize to my heart's content because like I feel like I'm really like kind of being blocked by stuff right now and it doesn't feel good it's just like no let's move this okay this will work if I do it this way okay and then we want to get water quality thingy we could get a large protein skimmer see I don't know how this is superior to that this one is Breaks down every four days? That sounds worse. Okay, so let's get this thing instead. Why didn't that help? Hello? I just added another water thingy. Why didn't it work? It's a large filter. Hello? Confusion? Hello? Does it not work? Oh, this isn't working. I don't know. Something is going wrong here. Anyway, let's look into this tank and find out what's going on with these sea needles. Okay, so they're unhappy about the temperature. We really need more temperature adjustment as well. Let's get another chiller. Did that work? Still this darn stuff. Wow. Okay, let's get... Okay, Chrysal tank. Nice. All right, oh, there's our bridge. That's what we've been wanting the whole time. I wanted to see that bridge. That is so cool. All right, so large filter. Okay. Um, moon jelly. Oh, that sounds amazing. Okay, I'm gonna... Let's move this guy. Actually, it doesn't matter which one is where. Does that help? No, it's still at 71 of 75. Like, what the heck's going on with this thing? I feel like this tank really needs to have like crazy, crazy stuff going on here. Let's put this this way. Put a wall here instead and delete this wall. I feel like we need to have more stuff like actually abutting the tank or something. I don't know, feels weird. Feels weird, man. Let's see, if we get rid of all these windows and then we move this there and there and move this one like here. Okay, does that help us? Still 71 of 75. What is going on with this? Okay, remove some of these just to save space if that works any better. All right, maybe we need another one. Maybe we need a protein skimmer instead. Okay, there. Okay, that made a huge difference. So maybe there's only so much you can filter and you need a protein skimmer for the rest? I don't really understand this, but if it works, it works, I guess, right? Now we're at way too much chilling. So let's X one of these. So that's good now. 
And I can go ahead and move these things back. Or I can move these. Let me move these here. And we can put our wall back. Because I'd, I'd rather have this side be visible if I can. X, there we go. Okay. And maybe we put the food here somewhere. Let's see. Move the food. Like that. Or something. Let's see. Let's put a door here. Oh, whoops. No, come on back. There we go. So why are they unhappy now? What's going on with you now? Oh, they want more animals. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so any special things? Let's see. It may eat or damage animals with size 1 to 3. And these are 1 to 6. Okay, so let's see if we can find any... I wonder if they would eat a starfish. Probably not. So let's go ahead and get a starfish. Or maybe we should just get the kukurasi. That would be okay, I think. Yeah, I think kukurasi would be fine. Let's see, add one, two, three, four, five. And let's add some starfish as well, because why not? One, two, six. Wait, what's wrong with the sea needles? What's going on with you now? Oh, you need more sea needles. Okay, that's fine. I want to kind of fill up the aquarium a little bit because it's like there's just not enough fish in there. Oh, we need a cave as well. Gosh, okay. Look at that. Oh, so nice. Look at all those fish in there. Oh, it looks great. Oh, they love it. And people are like, wow. Oh, and that, look at this. This person is magically levitating a crab toy. That's so nice. <laughs> it's so strange. It's like they have a hoodie pocket, but they're not quite making contact with it. It's very strange. Anyway, let's put in a couple of columns and things in here. Uh, make it look a little bit more inviting for our fish. There we go. Okay, is everybody happy? Hunky dory? Yay! Walk over decoration. Generates prestige when a guest walks over it. That is awesome! I had ideas for that from the very beginning. Let's get a large chiller. I feel that would benefit us massively. God, instead of having like a million small chillers, this has been kind of crazy. All right, anything else that they want? I think we're good. Moon jelly, let's go for another thingy. Let's see, can we, okay, these are cold water fish with the blue te thermometer. Let's get some more cold water stuff. This is a freshwater one, that would be nice. Because we don't have much fresh water either. What are you? You're warm water people. Okay, let's just get you real quick. It really doesn't take much time to get each of these fish. So I'm quite happy to let them do their thing. All right, so we can have some ship railings or nets maybe. Let's do some knets. Okay. Knets and then a barrel would be... No? Yeah? Apropos? another like a con conch shell it's so funny that word i had a discussion with a friend and i said conch and and they said like why aren't you saying it conch and i'm like well i normally say it conch but i just guessed i don't know and then i saw a streamer later in the day who was like i can't stand people who say conch that's the wrong way and i'm like dude I didn't say anything, but like, it's a dialect thing, whether you say conch or conch, it really is. And people from different parts of the world say things differently. Like, get over yourself, dude. So anyway, I just, I find people like that to be like, you know, you just show how provincial you are when you say stuff like that. Like language is so different in different parts of the world. It really is. And I celebrate that. I find it wonderful and fascinating and interesting and great that we have all the variety that human um, variation gives us. It's fantastic. All right, we're actually making some decent money, I feel. Did we ever get that, like, book selling thingy? Hello? Yes, guidebook. Yes, good. So let's make two guidebook shelves. I like having all the shelves in one place. It feels like a good, good thing. I mean, all of the 
yeah hopefully our people will pass by anyway i had an idea over here for how we could use a bridge but i think i might do it over here instead i feel like it would be less hassle to just use this area instead of that one okay we have daisy star polyps all right so then i i'm kind of let's go for some of the um the freshwater stuff because that seems good all right let's go here okay very nice now then let us let us color the floor first of all <laughs> let's just do one thing at a time here i kind of wish you could set a default floor and a default wall that would be very nice because i don't like some of the things like some of the com combinations as you can probably tell all right we have a double filter this has got oh that might actually be really good for us okay so we have this area i want to let's just put down some stuff here real quick let's uh, we'll leave the game running on slower speed um oh wait 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 the moon, moon jelly oh this is an animal but i guess that would be too small for there i think which one do we not have in here is a cuckoo we have the cuckoo sea needle and atlantic pollock we don't have the balan rassi all right I can actually buy a couple of those check them in okay now here i think we should you get science points for this one as well so let's put in a sciencey thingy thingy there we go yep read people we demand that you read stuff please now then uh where is that bridgy bridgy thingy thingy stuffy stuff thing yo it's where the arches are i bet which i have no idea where those are Oh. oh there it is okay hold on we found it aha so oh my god there are things there are corner bridges regular bridgey bridges and all the things and all the stuff so my idea was to have tanks kind of around this bridge to make people go in a particular direction okay, let's get more freshwater fish so if we start somewhere like here that would be kind of cool we could have a fish tank here here there and there so that people had to go over the bridge and around in order to get around these fish tanks that was my thought okay so let's see what we can do here we could do a oh i want to see what this is like oh my gosh oh fancy okay so that's like this kind of thing we could put that there though why not could stick one right over there oh gosh that's tall isn't it all right wonder if i moved that around if i did like uh like this if they could reach it from the edge there they can oh nice fancy okay we could actually do that just do four of these around this thing wouldn't that be funny okay let's do that let's do something like that they're kind of i mean we could do deep corner tanks though equally well like that I'm kind of like, huh, what do we do here? This is this is giving us too many options. Help. <laughs> I mean, the lagoon tank is also quite, you know, w workable as well. I'm liking these bridges, but man, I'm just like, oh my god, what do we do? Help. Let's do the Chrysal tanks. I think those are interesting. Uh, they're a little bit weird, maybe, but people can still see down into them. So I guess that's the important part. And we don't have to put separate stairs for our people to get in them. That's kind of cool. Let's see, how does that go? Like this? Okay, yay. Nice. Okay, so now we have all of these funny shaped tanks. I wonder if they're for a particular kind of fish or we can just use any kind of fish. I guess we can use any kind, right? So let's go to our freshwater fish. And we haven't been here for like ages. Let's see, do we, we have a fish list. Let's see, do we have, let's see, we can actually look in the ledger and it sorts them by name. So do we have a blind cave tetra? No, we do not. Okay, so that's a fish we can put in somewhere. Do we have a convict chiclid? Now chiclids I know are breedable. So that's a thing that we can do. Actually all of, most of these are breedable. Okay, red striped earth eater. Do 
we have that R. Wait, are they by name? Yeah, they should be. Red. No, no red striped anything. Midas chiclet. Do we have that one? Oh. Hello. Okay. Got a shark there, I saw. Alright, so Midas Chiclid. There we have one. Okay. That's fine. One! Wow. Huh. This animal eats vegetables. Okay, where is tank six? Let's find six, because like that one poor Midas Chiclid can't breed with just one. <laughs> no. Okay. So anyway, we do have that one in the aquarium. We have the guppies, I think, right? Pretty sure we do. Wait, why does it like change order? Okay, we have many guppies. Cardinal Tetra. I think that's the one we just got. Blind Cave Tetra. We don't have that one. Tinfoil Barb. Wait, why are some of these seas down here? I'm so confused. Uh, that's annoying if they're not in order by name. How can one find these things? We need to have them sorting by name. Why are they not sorting by name? That's annoying. Now I have to look at the whole list. Ugh. Sad times. Hmm. All right. Let's go and look again. Convict. Convict spawns. We do have convicts. Do we have any red thingies? Red striped earth eaters. No, we don't. Okay. Guppies we have, Cardinal Tetra we don't have, uh, Blind Cave Tetra. Let's look at those. I just want to see like which ones we need to buy and all that kind of stuff. Nope. Okay, Tin Foil Barb. Tin Foil. No. Okay, we don't have that one either. So Bozeman's Rainbow and a Paku. I don't think we have either of those. No, we don't. Okay, so we, we have many things that we can get. Did we get the double thingy yet? We still haven't gotten this? No, help. All right, because we need that pump like immediately, actually. <laughs> we really need it right now. Uh, here, I do want to do something. How do we do this? We want to put in a wall, I guess, right here. And we want guests to go around this kind of side this way. So let's just like make a wall where we want people to go right now. So they need to go this way. Maybe here we put in another fish tank or something as well. So here, let's just XX there. And we put in another fish tank like a Epaulet shark. Oh, crabs. Let's have some crabs, man. They're cool. Uh, Alright. Let's get a... Maybe a lagoon tank here? That would be fine. Yeah. Okay, cool. And that blocks off this side very nicely, so that makes them go that way. And here, we can kind of do the same thing, where maybe we have an observer tank or something here. Add a floor space here. Don't know why that was so weird. Okay. Um now then, let's get a an observer deep observer tank. Something like this? Yeah, that will work like that, I think. So they can see from this side and that side. Uh-huh. Okay. So the idea is to have like one power pump in this area. Okay, that's cool. Belfast tank. Yeah, let's go for that. Let's get more of this space as well. And then let's get more decorations. Important. All right, let's get Greek paint. Yes, that's what we want. 
The vault of Yvonne. Actually, it's not what we want. <laughs> Actually, what we need the minimalist paint over here. For now, anyway. Okay, so... We might also here put in more tanks on this side. Because I think that would be nice to have. Let's pause the game and then just delete this. So right now we have a lot of money to buy tanks and stuff. I think that's okay. We can just keep, just buy them and uh, yeah, do other stuff later. So let's see, deep corner tank. That would be nice. I like doing the deep tanks in general. Okay, this one might be, hmm. Let's actually X that one and do a different, different orientation slightly. Deep corner tank and go like that far instead. Maybe this one, the deep observer tank, goes one more square as well. Let's just do that. I wish there was a way, I think, wait, is there, there might be a way to resize them actually. Now that I'm thinking about it. Okay, so this is nice. This is like, there's all kinds of angles and stuff here. Now this whole wall might turn into tanks as well, but I want to have this like, thing where they can go around this way. We also just need to make sure that they can get stuff. Is there an R button? Hold on, let me let me see. There might be. Let's see, options, key assignment, and ooh, take screenshot. No UI. I need that. F11. Okay. Uh, let's see. Expand tool, fill in tool, move tool, demolish. I don't see one. Help. No. I don't think you can. I'm guessing you probably can't because of all the items inside an, a thing. So I think that might not be possible. Okay, so this idea is you go over and around and through. I like that idea. But we need to have our equipment going on here. Let's put in a door. That's important that we have our door in here. Now then, we need to make sure that we have a pump that's working for these different tanks. So let's get the power pump. That will start kind of like there, I think, and we'll go here. And then we need to add a tank over there. Okay, good. So that will serve both of those. We might need to move this wall closer to serve those two. So I guess we can go ahead and, well, actually what we need to do is put in a this and of that to get those two working and start putting in some fish. I think we'll have all the freshwater fish out here because we kind of looked through all of those and it seemed kind of fun to, to do them. Okay, so we have a red striped earth eater. Let's go ahead and put in a couple of them. Uh, let's see what we got here. They, what else do they like? Do they need to be in a group? Okay, they have two. They need five different decorations, one log, two caves. All right, let's look at all of these things. These kind of places are a bit funny uh, because they don't seem to have a lot of uh, under like floor space. Let's see, five, how many caves? What? Five decorations, one log. Let's get a log. Bogwood piece, that kind of makes it more acidic. Yeah, so they only have a two, no wait, uh, four by two spot for stuff. Okay, we got our log. We need two logs. Okay, four caves. Let's get four caves. Actually, we could get a pitted column or a rocky overhang. Uh, let's get the driftwood cave because we might need the other stuff for breeding purposes. Um, and uh, we also need smaller stuff because of the number of decorations needed. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, help. Um, no. This might not actually big, big, be big enough for these fish. I'm surprised. All right, well, we can move them if necessary. Let's see, uh, let's see. We need another cave. Oh, look at this, Java Fern. Oh, that's beautiful. You know what, I'm gonna move them over here. I'm gonna move these fish over here. M. There you go. And we'll worry about that later. Okay, let's see what they need in here. No, no, go, no, no. 
on M, on move, on move. Yes. <laughs> okay, let's get a cave for them. Um, all right, this has nice things. We have rocks on here. Do they need rocks? No, they don't care about rocks. Um, it's a three though. That's nice. Let's put that there. And they need what? They need many decorations. Five different decorations. So let's put in a another few things here. This is cool. These are pretty. I like these plants. And then we'll put in some ship railings, maybe. That looks kind of neat, actually. I like it. It's fun. And then one small decoration. Put in, like, a life ring. I don't think we've had a life ring anywhere else. I'm not really keen on it, but since the decorations, they only get, like, you know, a viewer can see it once, and then they have a 15% chance to appreciate it again. It's like, oh no, help. Uh, all right, so let's get in our stuff. Large combi, sounds good. A hundred and a hundred. Yay, let's go with that. Okay, perfect. Yay, done. Done and done. So here, maybe we get in some more food. They want the vegetables. Okay, cool. I think this area is going to look really nice, like when it's finished and all the fish are in. This is going to be kind of cool. So anyway, unfortunately, we are kind of done with uh, today's episode because we've run out of time. So anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.